Well, hello, welcome to I Love Gay Today. And this time around, we are in Peru with Aaron. How are you, Aaron? Hi, Matt. How are you? Hello from Lima, Peru. Yes, it's good to see you. Normally, I see you whether it's uh, an NGLCC conference or IGLTA. And now we're, uh, this is our first time to connect virtually. Yeah, we are virtually hard now, and I'm sure <laughs> soon we're going to do it again. And uh, yeah, you know how the, the energy I have, I like to always yell, hey, hey. I do, I do. Well, your main business has always been just, uh, you know, helping bring people to, uh, you know, LGBT travelers to Peru. But of course, uh, that's probably been put on hold a little bit here over the last few months, yes? Exactly. Uh, I am basically from Tour Guide Peru, and uh, I am the guide of all the tours to Machu Picchu, basically. Yeah. So I customize these amazing experiences there, uh, from zero to the to the top of the, the uh, to the end of the of the trip. Of of course, everything is on hold. And um, as a tour guide Peru and as Aaron, I am holding everything until it's safe, not just for travelers but also for me. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying to all my travelers. We are going to be back on that, on that, but we have to wait when it's responsible, uh, safe for everybody. Yeah, that's I one agree. thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so what are you up to now? Well, uh, <laughs> as as you know, uh, my feet always itch for doing yeah. stuff, and uh, since I've been always busy, so now I have the chance to to touch other projects. One of them uh, that it's back to 2008 when with, with my mom we published my mother's kitchen the first yeah. the first volume yeah. uh, we wanted to do the second one for a long time and now is the time to do it so we have the time we have the kitchen we have my mom and uh, we we just we launch um, my mother's kitchen volume two on YouTube so everybody can go and watch it yeah. uh, now and it's a, a step by step recipes uh, the videos are basically 10 minutes each yeah, and it's yeah. bilingual so you can watch it and you hear the spanish of her and my english at the same time yeah yeah but it's uh what is it all uh, uh peruvian dishes for, uh, you know actually from... no the first the first volume was was dedicated basically to peruvian food the second one it's dedicated to a little bit more international my mom um she's amazing in the kitchen i I, I woke up one day and I, and I told her, uh, I want to do two recipes with you. One is the ratatouille and the other is the beef bourguignon. Yeah. She never prepared those dishes before. We watched some tutorials, we, we saw the recipe and she learned it right away and she smoothly speak about like she was preparing this for years. So, and make it easy for anybody else. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fantastic. I mean, you've got a perfect audience now. I know personally, I sometimes say we eat like kings because we've been just uh, coming up with my husband or, or my or myself. Each one of us kind of bounces back and forth. We don't do it together. And uh, one of us is the chef. And uh, the things that, that he's been making have been incredible. And uh, I'm sure people are going to gravitate towards, uh, you know, being able to see what you guys have to have in store for them. Yeah, and the volume three is is a start to be filmed on August for sure. Yeah. We are we are we are collecting the new recipes. So and we're moving another a different kitchen. Uh, I'm just like a storm of ideas with that one. And then uh, the next thing it. I'm doing it's uh, I just publish a podcast yeah. about Spanish for Spanish learners. Uh, so if you are learning Spanish or you want to practice your Spanish, you can hear me in my podcast while I'm also teaching Spanish. Yeah. via Zoom. <laughs> so that's what the other thing I'm doing. And uh, the third thing is that I am uh, interviewing uh, people in South America, entrepreneurs yeah. around South America. Yeah. So in a few days, in a, on July 25th, I'm releasing a YouTube program that is called Entrepreneurs LGBTQ South America. And it's going to be, the whole program is going to be in Spanish, yes. Yeah. But I want to empower all this not, uh, really good entrepreneurs that sometimes you, we don't know. We don't know about them. Yeah. And they have really cool advice for everybody. Wow. No, but that's uh, any hopes of uh, being, so that the rest of you know, those of us that don't speak Spanish so well, we haven't taken your course yet, your podcast. So are you going to have? You have. <laughs> I know. Is it going to be dubbed or is there going to be some way that we'd be able to uh, enjoy it as well? You know, uh, the concept, um, it was, Originally, it was just to have one person at a time. Yeah. Then it goes so big that I make a whole, a whole kind of conference. And uh, I decided to make it 
completely in, in Spanish. Yeah. And um, that comes, you know, um, the example comes from uh, the Latin Grammy. I love music, you know, and when they released the first Latin Grammy, I was, I was, I think I was 19 and I was looking at that. Yeah. Yeah. And I was so disappointed that it was in, a, in, in not, not completely in Spanish. It was in English. Yeah. Uh, why? So this one, uh, entrepreneur uh, or emprendedores LGBTQ, America del Sur, it's going to be the whole in Spanish. But uh, after this one, I'm going to make one in English that is just going to be for uh, uh, interviewing Americans, Canadians, and Europeans, and it's going to be the full in English. So I want to give them their own um, time and space. No, I think there's no, a lot no, to it. No, no, no subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> no subtitles. But you know, I mean, that's even doing this show, it's uh, uh, what you're going to be creating is a whole different way of people for people to be able to connect, meet, be introduced to, uh, to entrepreneurs and, and folks that, uh, that they may have only been able to meet if they went to a conference like the G Network 360 in Argentina or something. So, mm -hmm. and especially because you guys are all in South America. So hopefully you'll be able to collaborate a bit and pull some things together there. I, I have to tell you, I, 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 I can give you two names because I haven't released the names yet of the yeah. interviewers, yeah. but uh, we will have Felipe Cárdenas from uh, the Colombian Chamber yeah. and uh, on the side of Peru, but it's not in Peru, it's Ilan Krem, who is in Miami. So those are the two names that are going to be there and I have new surprises that I'm going to release next week. Oh, I love both of those guys. And, uh, and, uh, you, and you have some locals in Peru as well, like Marco, what is it Marcos Arellano? And, uh, Marco Arellano, yes. Yeah. Uh, he is, uh, it's a bit, he's big in, in tourism also in a different yeah. area. Uh, I try to focus uh, in South America in general. So I'm trying to also diversify on, uh, on nationalities. Yeah. So I have people uh, from Mexico. I have people from Argentina, from El Salvador. I want to um, go outside my what we'll say the comfort zone of Peru. Yeah. Uh, we have great potential here, but I, in this time, and not just for my audience in Peru, I want to, to uh, for the LGBTQ to know that everywhere in South America, yeah. we should be proud of who we are and to start a, a company and not to be afraid to be uh, gay, lesbian, trans, because there is people behind us yeah, that yeah. can support us. Yeah. No, I love that. And I think the market is, is ripe for these things right now. So it sounds like, uh, you know, the, the opportunities or the silver linings that we're able to find during this crazy quarantine and pandemic time. So, and especially with your positive outlook, it sounds like it's going to be, uh, it, it should be a real winner. I am so excited. I'm so excited <laughs> uh, of this. Um, just, um, I said, because I, I was thinking to broadcast live yeah. and then I decided, no, I'm going to edit everything and publish it on YouTube and premiere on, I'm saying July 25th at 11 a.m. Peru time. Yeah. So my family is completely, you know, happy and thrilled. We are going to have a blast watching it, everything. Yeah. I'm going to be all nervous and um, we are going to have fun. We yeah. have to have fun. I love that. Well, I can't wait to check it out and hopefully, uh, hopefully our audience will too. So we'll make sure to promote this and also try to create any links that we can to, uh, to, the, to these projects that you're working on, especially when we're promoting on LinkedIn. So hopefully that will help as well. Excellent. Excellent, oh, Matt. Yeah. Well, it's, it's great to have you here with us. It's just, just to share a few, few moments to, to get a chance to let our audience know what you're up to. And like I said, I hope to be able to see you again in the real world again soon. Of course, as soon as everything is open and the next conference is coming, you are going to have me there because, you know, you cannot live without Aaron. The Aaron uh, has to be there. <laughs> you got it. Well, thanks so much for being here with us. Thank you, Matt, and have a great day. You too. Take care now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.